Hello students, welcome to AC Engineering channel. So in the last video we discussed parts of a three phase induction motor as stator and rotor. So in the principle of operation side we just explain what is the principle and how the rotating portion of an induction motor rotates. We are all well known that all the machines works under a Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So when a three phase supply is connected to the stator winding, see here a stationary part is stator receives an supply. When the three phase supply is connected to the stator winding, rotating magnetic field is created. See here a rotating magnetic field is created here in between stator and a rotor portion of constant magnitude but the rotation at synchronous speed. So it rotates with a synchronous speed. The speed of the rotating field produced is mainly depends on the frequency of the power supply and the number of poles in which the windings are made. So the synchronous speed Ns is equal to 120 F by P. Well we completed it works under an Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. When a supply received by the stator what will happen next? The rotating magnetic field is created in between a stator and a rotor winding. Rotating magnetic field is created. Three phase induction motor is, seems to be the transformer. In the last video also I told you there should not be any electrical contact between stator and rotor. It both are magnetically coupled here an air gap and it is magnetically coupled. So when the rotating magnetic field cuts the rotor conductors an EMF is induced in it. Here the rotor conductors cuts the EMF cuts the rotor mag conductors EMF is induced and this EMF is called as rotor induced emf it's a rotor induced emf here this induced emf circulates the current through the rotor called the rotor current therefore there are two fluxes are produced one the flux produced by the stator winding called rotating magnetic field flux then the flux provided produced by current carrying rotor conductor called the rotor flex. And see the video, you could clearly understand the things stator and rotor. On the left side of the rotor conductor, these two fluxes are here. Left side, the two fluxes are in same direction, hence they are added up. Addition of two fluxes occurs then in the right side of the right side here two fluxes are in opposite direction and they tend to cancel each other so the rotor conductor experiences a mechanical force from the interaction of rotating magnetic field and the flux produced by the rotor conductor is called a rotor flux that's it about an working principle how the rotor experiences a force to mechanical force to rotate without electrical contact uh, this is what given in a theoretical side then slip of the motor so here we have an two split speeds at first the rotor stator receives a supply and it creates a rotating magnetic field that is what we call it as a synchronous uh, sorry synchronous speed n suffix s and after it experiences a force and the rotor part rotates with an speed n this is what we called it as an actual speed so first is synchronous speed in one rikku, then rotor experiences a force and thirupi rotate agadu adha actual speed in solro is rendu kaana ratio difference adha slip in solro so it's an important party aspect of a question the slip of an induction motor is defined as the ratio of synchronous speed and then actual speed is the difference to the synchronous speed into 100 
so all the things are expressed in percentage that's why put it over 100 so the actual speed how could we find the actual speed mere rearrangement of the expression cross multiply it becomes s into ns equal to ns minus n make a rearrangement all ns in the same side so here n becomes plus n s into ns becomes s ns take ns as a common it becomes n is equal to ns into 1 minus s fine so here you ha could have an possible party aspect of tutorial probably also so ne you need two expressions to know what is a slip and what is an actual speed formula these are all the two important formulas need to solve a tutorial problem and up to that we were completing a principle and working of three phase induction motor the rest of the tutorial problem side will see in the next video thank you students